Alrighty, everybody, welcome! Welcome, everybody, to a new installment of Pokemon Maker Ruby. This is indeed episode 6 of me doing, doing the, the OR and everything else, that young kids would say it. Anyways, welcome back, everybody, to another installment of Pokemon Maker Ruby. As your Blaze, getting started here for today. Last we last left off, we were. I'll say that we also had our we also got our first badge of the gym. We wrapped up and also thanks to Blaze for some of these awesome stuff to be picked up. We got our first badge against Roxanne, who we'll uses rock types, obviously with the stone badge and we'll those rock types. So what's what's in store for this for this week you may ask? Well, also like, like I said before I kinda of fix the circle pad. That's I can, that can be sneaky. Um when it goes like different like huge or better encounters really, so. Let's go, let's go talk to this old this old man here. All in the one we're gonna do. It's Pico and I went over to talk Doug. I don't know how to make up with Pico. Where are you, Pico? Damn. Well, we're looking, he's looking for his Wingle or Pico, if that's called. So this is like Pico. Pico got uh, Wingle Wingle mapped. But before we get to anything else, let's, get our, let's get actually get started with our team recap today. And plus, I am a little tired. Just a warning, I am kind of exhausted from work, and I just also got up, just got up from, from my, my nap, my long nap, so I'm a little, a little exhausted, I should say. You know, kind of still sleepy commentary. I wish I had coffee, but at this point, I'm going to be up all night again, so I don't want to do that. But let's just get things off with a recap. We got Wismer, level 14. She's really actually doing pretty good. The pound, echo, echo, voice, how, and astonish. Given that sound and a brave nature, actually good nature for Wismer too. It's gonna be really helpful. So she's just gonna be more physical anyway. A lot of like just, like audio based attacks. You got Shroomish in the house. Level 18. Uh, with Mega Drain, Stun Sport, Leech Seed, and Headbutt. I'm not gonna use other Shroomish. Of course, you guys remember Blaze uh, from last episode. He also he also said he said in the bonus episode. He gave us a few trades, which I actually got. Well, actually, we'll probably go to the other other mons too when we get the chance. Oh, this dude, he also got a poison heal for his ability. Very careful though. He's a very finicky kind of guy. Our starter, Azagoon. We'll probably have a different name for him. He was also. I actually, I actually do have a name for him. That uh, actually, a friend of mine actually named. So it's a good idea. I'll probably list that as his. Um, it's kind of a hybrid of both, like two people who actually suggestions for names, so we'll have both of them uh, be listed. So, thanks everybody else for sending me suggestions, by the way, too. I mean, so you'll see them nickname suggestions, I'm like, yep, we're, we're about to get started. It's got Peck, Double Kick, Ember, Flame Charge. You also learned Flame Charge during the grind montage. He did, we also, I also did a little bit of grinding and trying to rematch the trainers get some more EXP. Our Zigzaggers, we're not going to use them. But he did learn Cut. And also, I forgot to mention that um, last episode, I forgot to mention to you guys how to get cut. You go to the, you see those two trees next to the house. You just, you just see that, that obviously tells that it's a cutter's house. We got the HM for cut. He's got pickup. So he, so we'll use our HM slave for now. And we have an, also we just, we just caught our Ninkata level nine with scratch hardened leech life and false swipe. We could be, able, we could be able to use the other, other Pokemon too. The Blaze sent us, so we potentially can get a chance. Uh, pretty docile, so not the brightest nature, or not the brightest nature, but I'll take it though. And we also have, since speaking of Blaze, our new member of our team, the boy actually was a shiny. Apparently, this, this is a shiny Pokemon that my friend, my friend Blaze sent me. Just for just for the project, really. Because also he has an Eviolite, he actually sent he gave me a free Eviolite as a little package. Got a Corphish! Yeah, love it. I love I love Corfish in the anime. One of my favorite Pokemon in the anime. It was he was so much fun. He, I just love his energy. He was such a like the, his character was hilarious. And Torkoal was just funny and funny too. You guys remember the um? I guess you, now it's like Pokemon Advance, but now they changed the Ruby to just Pokemon the series Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. But uh, it's kind of lame. I prefer Advance, Advance, Advance Battle, Advance Challenge, Battle Frontier. Post Hoenn, really. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Corphish, but it also, it's the also interesting moves that he, he has. Uh, this is a special Corphish that, he set, that Blaze sent me. Thank you very much to, to just a small donation. Uh, such a neat, it's also, he also, Corphish is part of my team, as you can tell, the layout has finally been fixed. Uh, so I will ha include one more Mon that's not on the team just yet. I actually have, have her now. 
but right now I'm gonna wait until we can talk about the bio, then we'll do it. So we'll talk about Corfish in a minute. Um, I like Corfish. Corona is a fun water dark type. I never use Corona, Corona as much. But Corfish will be in this game will be a lot helpful early in the game because I need something that'll be helpful to take out, you know. Especially I also have no, I have no, I have no water types, because I'm not gonna have the water types for a while. So thankfully Blaze like, you know, here, here's this here's this Corfish we can have. So that'll help you a little bit, that'll probably make the game a little bit more easier. Because this game this game in Gen 6 is remarkably easy. Gen 6 is probably the more easier gens to play. <laughs> so, eh, it helps. He's got Crab Hammer, Crab Hammer, Knock Off, Aqua Jet, and Sword Stance. And yeah, Adam and Nature too, which is he's just perfect as well. So these are first, technically these are first shiny that we got. Quote unquote, first shiny. So, uh, uh, this is this is a gift for, from Blaze, of course. He's like, yeah, you just use it for the project or whatever. So, perfect. But you don't even know, I don't even know about a shiny Crawdon that'd be interesting to have. But uh, it's cool. I'm actually happy, I'm excited to try out um, Corfish, make his debut at some point. All the mods you can see are Rush for Tunnel. In this one, so Rush for Tunnel. And so we have to meet up that other dude. Let's go take a look at here. We had a Pokeball to start off. Oh yeah, also Battle of Trainers up up north of 116. And the only the only the only, the only uh, mods out here are Wismers in this tunnel, unfortunately. So it's kind of a sad thing that you can't only really battle these Wismers. No, I still, I kind of got a better level than this. So I already talked, I already talked about Wismar already, so I don't worry about you know the bio really or what I want to, to talk about to be honest. So I'm good. Haha, -ha, soundproof. Oh, I'm gonna love the Wismar. Every time soundproof activates Wismar, it just pops up like, yep. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys mentioned about soundproof. <laughs> Alright, so Corpus gets level thanks for a new, a new EX, a new experience share, which is for everybody gets experience. It's pretty awesome. What? Are you coming? Come get some then. Alright, here we go. Oh, uh, he also has a, has a Pucciana, I believe, so... He kind of won't do much at all for this, so... Mostly do a lot of switch training back and forth too. If we can. Crack. Keyhaw. 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 at all. This last one from turning into worthless. So now and you. Now you're gonna come battle me? Really? Oh boy. Remember last time you fought off Team Magma or Team Aqua playing Alpha Sapphire? Here comes another rematch. It's the same Bucciana from before. Yeah. <laughs> Not well. Well, it's only the beginning of the start, so it's only 13 though. Like one, like one double kick would just knock it out or two. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Just bring back Wingo, please. Just, just bring up Wingo as well. The well, last episode was indeed a lot of stuff to do. Oh, Screech! Another audio-based move I can learn. Uh, Screech will lower its physical defenses. Extremely low, so it'll probably be like, about two bars down, which is interesting, which especially just lowers your guard, lowers your opponent's guard. I'll keep Astonish, because I do have priority. It's a pri priority means you do it, priority means his attacks will go first. Obviously, will always go first. Um. I'm, I do like how better because I can just up my attack a bit more, so that's mostly going to be the case. Yeah, I'm it. it was kind of interesting, like, Chinese Sword Screech. Screech is good, though, because it can lower its physical defenses and probably be better, especially competitive. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to learn it. It costs level 10, Corpus is level 7. Ooh, Vice Grip, which actually was Corpus, Corpus moveset, actually. This is only a basic, so I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get rid of these these um moves. So we have a almost one of my favorite Pokemon, of course, in the in the show. Bringing the shiny Corfish, he's level up. 
And we'll also get lead names for our members of our team. So we'll also lead names for Corfish and lead names for Nikata and Wismer and Shroomish too. So we'll all so most of these five so far, and I believe our next one will be, will be interesting. So we're basically going to have our team early in the game. We're not going to learn Vice right now because I have the group set here. This is perfect. I don't have to worry about, you know, much, so. Uh, So the experience is going to be helpful, such as the lower mons too. Take care of that business. This plan is not right. The boss told me about this will be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some parts from Devin. <laughs> you want them? You want them? You want them that badly? You can take them. Hey, you got parts of Devin. Apparently, that animate that walk animation. That walk animation is so weird. Pico, I'm so I'm glad to see you safe. So you're safe. My Pico owes, owes her life and, and freedom to you, lad. You call me Mr. Brighty, and you are. Ah, so it's Azure. So it's Azure, is it now? Is it now? I said, so thank you, Azure. Is it, is there anything I can help? It, wow, I cannot read today. I'm too tired today, everybody. I can try best to provide energy today. It's not helping me. I'm sorry. Is there everything I can do to help you in, in turn? Then don't, don't you hesitate to tell me. If I'm if I'm to be found, then I'm, it always will. Well, it, it, will, it will always will be at my cottage seat in Pittsburgh Woods. Come, Pico, we high time. My I cannot read today. I'm tired as hell right now. Oh God. Yay. Unfortunately, we can't get past here. These you see these little brown rocks over here. They, they also need rock smash. Unfortunately. Okay. So we'll have to run into them. Those other different mods as well, or we'll probably run into them. Other side of town. So we'll, we'll, also, we'll miss, I'll probably show you some trainers real quick, actually, too, while I'm at it. So, uh, cool. That that goofy, the goofy goon hightail out of that tunnel. Thank you. <laughs> why just go gore like that? I don't know why. That's just funny to me. Uh, that tunnel. I can go back to digging. Hooray! Digging for gold is always fun. I miss how much. To get the bridge to the tunnel, you have to go to the you put it in the Hmm. I can drop the whole area. That's not doing nothing. Damn. That's tough. Yeah, it's always rough, though. So, yeah, we also will showcase cut real quick so we also can use the battle trainers here. I also do want to get some uh, get some experience for my um Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, don't switch Azure, do not switch at all. <laughs> Good job, Azure. Good job. Now I was gonna just gonna switch over to to Mr. Ninkata over here. Because he needs some experience though. So. Also about these trailers over here while the what the cut like I talked about earlier. Um, so apparently with the trainer's eye you can also can battle re with the trainers either means you can rematch rematch trainers too. Which is interesting. So this is mostly a good example. This is mostly a, a, usually every badge you earn you can rematch trainers from, from the beginning. Remember, remember Emerald, uh, you, get, you guys will get to rematch gym leaders too, but in this game you, you can't. Which is, that is, a, that is a, like a sad takeaway in the game. I was I was like you could probably just rematch gym leaders and, and you know, gym leaders in the game, but you can't. They don't allow that, which really sucks. Right. Go for false swipe. Try to use a. This is a good tool for catch a poke. Uh, double team. Uh, we're fighting Raltus here right now. <laughs> uh, let's we'll just let's just false swipe again. Be the cause debut though. Come on, buddy. Of course, it is real. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So, I am battling these other trainers. Before, or, I battle trainers off camera, sadly. So, once we get these trainers out so real quick before we get out of here, I head back over there, and I'll probably meet you guys back here. I'll be us back over, over. What's the battle? Oh, well, I'll find. Let's meet up back at. 
what's his, uh, what's the town? We'll probably be back at, at before I guess the entrance before Pelberg Woods. We'll do that. Oh, of course. Ironically, ironically, the, the, the name I hate the most, and of course the before Pelberg Woods, we're also gonna you know, travel across there. Also, we heal my team real quick. Actually, now I think about it, let me heal my team real quick. Get things rolling. And I can just time so we can move on. Okay, we're back. Make uh, sure we're ready to go here. Let's make sure we got this is a this is a seat catch that um that the old dude was talking, Mr. Bryant was talking about. I don't care about Wingo right now, but I'll see what what level um let's see what this Wingo is all about. I just disappeared. Okay, it's wasting like seconds of my time, Wingo. All right. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, that's right, I just delivered the parts, so I forgot, I delivered parts, seven parts back to, um, oh my god, I forgot. I forgot all about, right, let me just, right, let me do this again. I forgot to mention that I need to bring the seven parts back to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the scientist, dude. Whoops. Alright, give me a sec, everybody. Alright, Phoenix, sorry about this, I'm gonna time step again. Bruh. Also, I'll follow, I'm just gonna just do this, I'm just gonna do this again, so. I'll probably cut everything else out because I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot, I forgot. I forgot to bring down parts back to Rustboro City. <laughs> we'll probably meet up with Mr. Stone anyway, so let's head back to Rustboro. Don't! Okay, I'm back, everybody. Sorry about that. I forgot to get the parts to the whole dude. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, how'd it go? Did you get my different parts? Oh, you did, you did, you got them back? You you really are a great trainer. As, as, I know, as my thanks, I'll give you a great ball. Well, if you want a better Pokeball that has a higher catch rate, Great balls for you, or we'll probably do ultra balls later on. I'm sure people, people, people will probably know that. Oh yes, young man, please come with me. This is this old building that was uh, that I talked about last episode. You usually get to beat up with Mr. Stone. I forgot to mention that. So whoops. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can tell how grateful I. I, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Can you just wait here for just a moment? That's very generous. Very generous of that. I present would like to have a word with you. Please call me. Alright. Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of, president of the Devon Corporation. I just heard... I heard just now we... I heard just now we have our quite a bit of uh, quite, 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 quite a bit to, to thank you for. Wow, yeah, I cannot read today. I'm sorry. I'm like, re reading is not my thing right now. Apparently, uh, you saw my staff from this once, but twice. Uh, to, uh, this favor like that. Uh, this favor like that's a reliable trainer like you. Now I know you want. I know. You want, so I forgot about the story. Of course, the whole the first story arc with Devon's Devon Corporation story. And I want you to trust you. I want you. Want you to know that a president you can't you can trust you can't trust yeah president you can't trust I'd never be I'd never be so mean as to, as to ask you a favor and nothing for nothing in return here give me a poke button poke a plus for a moment all right here you go now use the buzz the buzz buzz now function your poke now plus function that I just added to your poke now plus is, is called buzz nav. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer who's traveling out out in the world. Use it, and you'll be able you'll be able to get the latest news around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Now, now let me get the important the important issue. What, what, is, what is it I need you to do? All right, lay it on me. I need you. To, I want you to ask ask you to deliver this le letter to a man named Stephen. You should find him in Duford. Thanks. Hey, oh, thanks, man. There's a letter too. Uh, you have to, you have to, you have to cross the sea from each dude, of course. Possible to Brian Yield, so who have that? So yeah, I, this is where I like I, <laughs> I low-key kind of effed up because I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to get the devil parts right back to him. So there you go. <laughs> I forgot all about that. I was like, oh yeah, I beat the guy. Oh wait, I I effed up. <laughs> so yeah, it's all my memory's my memory's not that great. I told you folks about that, so it ain't great to be honest with you. My memory is not that not that bright, so so, so I'll have to, this time we'll leave a timestamp for sure. So I just need to, you know. Okay. Also, by the way, I picked up a miracle seed right here. 
If you go, if you if you go, also as mentioned, you can also pick up a miracle seed and an X special, I believe. You got also from the from just cutting, from cutting the bushes and trees. So since we have our cut, um, we cut down the trees and we also picked up a miracle seed, which is which be helpful, especially if you can power up grass type attacks, which would be awesome. If you have a Trico or any grass type Pokemon that can do it, you know definitely I recommend putting it on, putting it on your uh, on your grass type, for especially since you have a Trico or possibly having you know that can power up that absorber. Mega Drain, or if you have like a Sceptile, have Leap Blade, whatever, so it's gonna be helpful, especially Miracle Seed. I really recommend it. Like any of the, like, the elemental moves, like Mystic Water, Miracle Seed, and a Charcoal, so they boost those, those, star, those star elements really well. I don't have Charcoal just yet, but we'll probably once again, I'll let you guys know when we have it. But uh, for now, Unfortunately, Shroomish has Poison Heal, so I can't use uh, Poison, I can't use, I can't use Miracle Seed, so unfortunately. Alright, so we have to look now. Now we can just use a time slip for Phoenix, and if we can use, we can go, we can go back to Route 104 before Petalburg Woods. The only thing is, we have to go, we have to go back, back and forth. I think there's also someone who gives you something. I don't remember. I believe also too. Let's see. So we have that great ball too. I don't remember which one it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this is. A, yeah, I forgot. If you also research fossils, you have a fossil you can just bring over here. You can also talk to this dude. He'll give you the um, he'll give, he'll give you the fossil, or he'll he'll, res or he'll resurrect. He'll basically just use resurrection and be mercy and just resurrect and just use a res on um, on Pokemon fossils that return to, to like Pokemon real life. So, or I guess in this game, but not real life. Imagine, but imagine that this fossil restoration, the dinosaurs come back to life. It'd be crazy. There was one, so yeah, pretty much I, I forgot all about the restora 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 restoration. There was also one mod I wanted to use, um, but I can't use it now. It's probably too late, so I have a grass up already. Oh, hey, I don't have to catch lots of Pokemon. I'm doing, doing pretty good on, on that front at least. I got so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. I passed by Mr. Briny who. When I was, I was also in Petalburg Woods. Hmm. I guess I guess he has. He must have been on his way home to his cause Route 104. As you, you, you just moved here, and so there's, there's no way you can know. But Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. Hmm. Interesting facts here. But we think we know what we, we knew about the whole Mr. Briny Route 104 thing. Okay. Now let's leave a timestamp. We can head, we're gonna head over. To, we're probably gonna head over to Dufort Island. Which, or that's why I call it, and even the anime called it out too, Dufort Island. It's not a town, it's just an island. It's not considered, it's not considered a town, it's mostly an island. So they kind of effed up on that, in my opinion. I'll probably also trade with that, um, most had a trade with the, the first trade in the game, having, if you trade a slack off for your, for a Makohita, which I'll put it back in the, the little Bible talk Makohita. I already, the only thing is I already, like I said before, Makohita, Guts is really good. Huge power is nice too, but I think guts is a lot better. So it's a lot better than that. So, all right, I'm gonna prove to the call of the episode here. We'll just leave it. We'll just. Oh, I'm just gonna just go through it. I'll meet you guys back over there, and we can go settle in and do for an island. We'll be back in a moment. This is like our third timestamp. So, <laughs> all right, Phoenix, you're gonna enjoy this one. All right, we're back. We're back here. It looks like uh, Mr. Brian is playing. Just mostly just chasing uh, Pico around. <laughs> Or not last, play that Pico. Oh, the elevator manager, you're the one who saved my Pico. Hey, hey, where we go? Oh, it's just I. I know it's I. Of course, he's a funny. He's a, a former sailor himself. I, but we owe we owe you one for that day. For that day. What's that? You want to sail with me? What's this all about then? A city, a city, a little bound for Dufer. Certainly, that'd be no problem at all. You come to the, you come to the right man. Should we host this? Should we hoist the sail for Dufer at once? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Do for it. Uh, do for it. Uh, we're uh, coming. Anchors away. Pico. We're, we're saying sail, my darling. I gotta have like a pirate voice from him. Like, nah. this is the old man voice. It's fine. It's and that's it's the worst old man voice. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not really. I'm just tired. <laughs> but like how I love this like this transition though. It's really pretty. Like how like Pico just flying, just, just flying while sailing. It's pretty cool. 
We're in Duford. Ahoy! We struck land in Duford, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to the into uh, heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or who am I? Who, who, who am I? Okay, gotcha. New name, <laughs> new word. If you're afraid lost in a drift, though, call in, call in the island's Pokemon Gym. Leader Brawley sure knows, really knows everyone and everything that goes, or, goes on in this town, which is mostly the island. I'll probably explain that in a minute. But here we are! We're in Duford Town, or Duford Island. Yeah, pretty cool stuff, and it's, it's very sandy. We'll probably we'll talk about also stuff. This is about 106. We'll probably we'll talk, we'll have more. And plus, we have the entrance to the Granite Cave. And the backpackers are back! That's kind of cool, actually, seeing the backpackers when making their return. Since Je they also add a little bit of backpackers as well. So if you guys remember X and Y, they introduced the backpackers. Yes, technically, no. They kind of introduced in Gen 5, technically. But yep, we're here. I'm gonna say the end real quick, because this is the end of the episode. Episode 7 approaching soon. Hopefully, we get there. And nothing has changed in our team, just the same move, so we'll probably have kind of a recap. We're gonna just jump right to the explore the town next episode. Until then, Azure Blaziken. Out.